Greetings gentlemen and ladies, old school game snob here. In today's video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about multiplayer replication, especially using uh, Rep and Notify. So what I've got here, let me show you really quick actually how we're looking in game so you can see what we're up to. Uh, basically that little uh, high above the player's head, which is going to uh, uh, become a health number when I shoot, like so, and so on and so forth. Uh, basically what we're doing here today is we're updating that little health bar above the player's head using rep notify now this is the way that you would do it without rep notify right so first you would call a server event that would then call a multicast event that would set the text above the player's head um, there's you know quite a bit to that there's a there's a few things it's you know quite a few little steps in there and I think you know it, re it requires also some uh, remote procedural calls that uh, I think maybe uh, use a little bit more resources than the rep notify method, I think. I think that's my understanding of it. I'm just learning about it here today. And when I learn something new, I like to make a tutorial so I can remind, remind myself how to do these things later. And hey, it seems like you guys have uh, found some of those tutorials helpful. So here we are with rep notify here today as well. Um, basically, here's rep notify. All right, so when you create a rep notify variable. So here we're setting my current health with a rep notify. And in order to create a rep notify uh, variable, all you have to do is set the replication to rep notify, right? When you do that, you will automatically have a function created that will just basically be called on rep underscore and then the name of your variable. That just gets created automatically. All right, now here's the thing about rep notify. Rep notify uh, are variables that are uh, broadcast out to all clients from the server so you can update them here like this and they will broadcast out to all clients as well um, so basically what I'm doing instead now of this uh, this whole uh, RPC you know server multicast call instead of doing all this which works if I, if I plug this in right if I go ahead and plug this in uh, as you can see over here let's just do a little compile and save Let's grab the server side over here, and that works, right? That that up, uh, updates the health bar above the player's head, no problem. Uh, but like I say, there's quite a lot of stuff I got to plug in there, right? That's kind of clunky, and I, I believe it's also less efficient in terms of uh, of uh, resource usage, right? Okay, so rep notify is the built-in multiplayer sort of system that Unreal has kind of built in for multiplayer purposes. Uh, so is my understanding. So like I say, when you create a, a new variable, and let me do one really quick here. Let me do a new variable. Let's go, let's go is zoomed. And we'll make that a rep notify. Right, and see what happened over there as soon as I made that a rep notify? I got this function called is zoomed that was created automatically for me, right? So I've got this function now uh, for my on rep health current, which is basically just the current health of my my character and inside that function all i'm doing here and this may or may not be the best way to do this because i'm just learning guys so if this is not a good way to do this overall let me know in the comments but it works pretty pretty well in this uh little function all i'm doing is setting the text above my player's head to uh, be the uh current health and that is automatically replicated uh on well, you know, on the clients, on the server, it's automatically replicated. I don't have to do any RPCs. It's just all built into Rep Notify. And so, yeah, this is my first successful usage of Rep Notify. And I'm like, whoa, that's that's pretty sweet. That's definitely a lot less cumbersome than this for every, uh, you know, variable change or every every little function, right? You just pump, you just kind of connect it plug it right into your into your function that is is built into it so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video that's kind of how to use rep notify in a nutshell i was trying to figure it out and how to make it work and this is actually a pretty good example for those of you who are wondering how i got the text above my head basically just add a text render component uh and then in the construction script here you can just take a look uh, i'm setting the text above head to hide this text type is a text type of variable Sorry, text above head is a text type of variable. Uh, the text renderer is the uh, component over here, just plugged in there, right? And the set text is a 
function set text for text renderer which is the component up here so if you guys are trying to figure out how to add little floating updated uh, 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 information above your character's head for just general good debugging and that sort of thing uh, that's how you do that hope you have enjoyed today's video all right